to attempt to make a sauce for the brisket so when I shred it up I have um, sauce to mix in with it so I'm just gonna start off with boiling some water on the stove over medium heat and then I'm gonna go ahead and add this beef cube once the water starts boiling now that it's starting to boil a little, I'm going to go ahead and add in the Now we wait for it to dissolve. You could kind of see it right there. I don't know if you could see it too well, but... So first we're going to go ahead and start off with paprika. And paprika is just used for color. To me, it literally has no taste. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in now. I'm going to go ahead and add in some cayenne pepper. Not too much though. Some chili powder. And then just a dash of crushed red pepper. Now I'm going to go ahead and stir that all up real quick. Okay, so after I've stirred that all up, I'm going to go ahead and add in this barbecue sauce now. Here's what the brisket looks like after slow cooking it in the oven for about five hours in total. I'm going to go ahead and see if this shreds. I'll try to show it one-handed for you guys. Oh, and it does shred, so it's good to go. And I'm going to go ahead and shred this all up, and I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. I transferred it to a cutting board, and I'm going to show you a better um, view of it. And now I'm just going to cut it up instead of shredding So it. this is it all cut up, and I'm going to go ahead and transfer it to a medium-sized pot, and then I'll be back with our next step. So here's all of the brisket and then here's our sauce that I'm going to pour over it but before I pour, pour it over the brisket I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of heavy whipping cream and milk because it's a little bit too spicy to my liking. So some heavy whipping cream and then a splash of milk. Now I'm going to go ahead and stir that all up and let it simmer until it's to my liking I guess. I guess that's the word I was looking for. I don't know. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the sauce over my chopped brisket and then let it simmer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in some more barbecue sauce. Um, I'm gonna use this one instead of the other one. I just one. eyeballed it and put about, I mean not about, about this amount, this much. So while I wait for the brisket to be done in the pot, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting my other ingredients together so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with some cilantro i'm gonna go ahead and chop this up and then i'm gonna go ahead and wash so here's it all my cilantro and now i'm gonna go ahead and wash it here it is all so washed. for my next ingredient i'm gonna go ahead and chop up half of an onion and then i'll be back so here's all the onions diced up and now I'm going to go ahead and cook it. Typically in this recipe people just eat it raw but I'm going to go ahead and cook it because I am not a big fan of raw onions so I'm going to go ahead and do so that. First I'm going to go ahead and add in a tablespoon of butter. While the butter is melting I'm going to go ahead and add in. So I'm just going to go ahead and saute it until it's nice and soft. So here it is all done to my liking and so here are the onions it looks a little bit darker in the camera but in person it's actually light and it's to my liking like the grilled onions so i'm going to be using these um small tortillas y'all can use the big ones if you want to but now i'm going to go ahead and warm these up in just the microwave and yeah then we'll be ready to assemble our tacos